Okay, today we're going to talk about preventive maintenance on Tronair jacks. Um, the maintenance is going to be pretty much the same on any jack we take a look at, whether it's a 5 ton, 10 ton, 20 ton. It's basically what the do's and don'ts are in a jack and how to keep the labor cost down. I mean, and most of it is just proper training on the units. Most of Tronair jacks, I think in you know, all their, their booklets, they've described it, 90 day maintenance would be the minimum, and that would be extending the jack to its full extension and then lowering it back down once or twice. That's to keep all the seals lubricated, force any water out of the systems, uh, just to make sure the jack is operating properly and it doesn't get, it doesn't sit for any long time and get stuck in position. Good example of one we got today is a, it's a 10 ton jack came in from a customer. Uh, it has seals leaking, mostly on the second stage, and we found after we tore it down that Thing had probably been sitting for a long time, hadn't been used, probably definitely more than 90 days, and it probably wasn't in a sheltered area where it wasn't getting affected by you know hoses or rain or snow. When we took it apart, one of the first things we noticed the top portion of the jack support bar at the very top it was pretty much almost rusted in position. Uh, it came out, but as you can see from the bottom, a lot of water got into the shoes. After taking it apart and further inspection of it, we found the second stage was leaking very badly uh, due to it was probably rusted in place at one time because it hadn't been jacked up all the way, water hadn't been evacuated from the system, and as a result of that, the jack had rusted up to the point that it pitted, corroded, fortunately didn't damage the lower cylinder but it definitely damaged the first stage of it. It had rusted to the point that chunks of metal had come out and it destroyed the cylinder bore on the second stage. Not hard to repair, but very expensive because it, it, can't, be, it can't be rebuilt, it has to be replaced. Had proper maintenance been performed on the thing, it probably wouldn't have had a problem, it probably wouldn't have seized up in the bore, and wouldn't have destroyed the unit. Keep in mind, one of these jacks is like a small car. Proper maintenance, once every 90 days, inspecting it, jacking it up, lubricate the, uh, the threads for the lock rings. Uh, they do use uh, unit seals on those, so you want to make sure that you use something that will not destroy the seal, uh, cause it to swell. Preferably um, good lubricants for these would be RPM, LPS, um, I wouldn't recommend WD-40s, I don't know what the effects on butyl oil seals would have with that. Or just take some of the hydraulic fluid in a rag and just get it wet, damp it down, and wipe these threads down and run the collars up and down a few times. You do that, you probably won't have to be sending it in for any kind of major repairs.